Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Finn Maguire YouTube channel. To be fair, I say welcome back. Um, there could be new people, so hello if you're new, welcome to you as well. Uh subscribe and you know, you can you can join join the club and um hopefully you'll be uh, you'll be welcomed back soon. But I'm just waffling at this point. But today is a very exciting video. You know, I you can see I'm holding a handheld mic. But Finn, you don't usually use a handheld mic. What are you doing? Well, I just feel like it's very, very on theme for what we are doing within today's video. So we have been invited by Back to the Future, the musical, to go and experience the first ever relaxed performance that they're doing of the show. And I'm personally very excited. I'm a big Back to the Future fan. I've got back, back there. This pointing thing's quite hard. Uh, yes, there's a Lego DeLorean back there. Very big Back to the Future fan. Big Back to the Future and a musical fan as well. I've seen it a few times before, which is why I am so excited to go and experience the relaxed performance. So if you don't know what a relaxed performance is, it's for people that are unable to experience just a regular production for whatever reason. Maybe, you know, it's sensory stuff, so if the lights are too bright, it's too loud. Maybe it's just because their needs don't meet regular theatre etiquette. So with a relaxed performance, it's, it's a lot more toned down. So some of the effects are not as prominent as they would usually be you know it's a little bit quieter the whole mood in general is a lot more relaxed so you know if you want to leave during the performance you can there's nothing wrong with that if you want to come back you can as well so it's it's just very suited to the needs of people that aren't quite able to experience a, a regular performance it's really good as well because it means that there's a whole other audience of people that can now experience it that haven't been able to before and so yeah you know relaxed performances are such an amazing idea and I'm so privileged to be invited down to go and experience the first one of Back to the Future. So with that being said, I don't think there's anything else for me to say. Uh, I'm off to drive 88 miles an hour and go back in time. Yay! 1955! If they don't meet, they won't fall in love, they won't get married, and neither you nor your siblings will ever be born! Whoa, this is heavy. One thing that I forgot to mention in the little intro section back there was that along with the tickets within the emails was sent two resources, a visual story and a sensory synopsis. Both of them giving you a bit of an idea of what to expect, you know, the whole process of going to the theatre, what it all will look like, where you'll be going. And then with the sensory synopsis, a bit about the actual show as well. So what effects may appear in some scenes some bits that might feel emotional, some bits that might be a little bit overwhelming. Just so you, you know 100% what to expect as you go in. Of course, if you don't want it to be spoiled for you, then these resources might not be ideal for you, but they can be extremely helpful. And they are also available on the Back to the Future of the Musical website under the Access section. So yeah, that's just thought I'd make you aware of them first and praise them on how good they are. So of course, we made our way to the beautiful... Adelphi Theatre, headed inside and straight away wanted to have a little look around to see what changes had been made for this performance that weren't present in regular performances, just around the foyer to start off with. First thing I noticed as I walked in, that just the music playing out of their little jukeboxes that they have dotted around was a lot quieter than usual. It was an interesting choice that they still had this music playing, just because I don't think it was 100% necessary, but it was a nice choice that they've turned it down a little bit, just to lower the chances of getting overwhelmed or overstimulated. Where there were a whole load of chill out zones on each floor with bean bags and just somewhere where during the show if people need to come out and relax for a bit just to get away from all the action they can do that and then we noticed that some of these chill out zones also had tvs near to them so you can still watch the performance the performance will be sh being shown on these tvs and you won't miss anything next we went to go and enter the auditorium and unfortunately we were waiting an extra 20 minutes on top of what we were told that we would be but i'm sure i'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of the video and then eventually we entered the theater what are your thoughts so far about the whole relaxed side of things i think as like someone who is a theatrical actor as well as someone else who's like a theatre goer as well. I love musical theatre. I think it's so different in terms of how it's going, down, uh, going to go well on, down actually. But hopefully, I'm really hoping that it's going to be inclusive. Yes, I'm, I'm very, this is my first relaxed performance, so don't really know to, uh, what to expect, but we shall see. Yeah. 
Just before the show started, me and Sez were lucky enough to get an interview with my friend Connor Ward and Layla, which are two both very important people who got the show working and made the relaxed performance happen. Hello, I'm Connor. I'm friends with both of you. Um, so yeah, I, have, uh, I, I was with Layla in contributing some food back to today's performance. My name's Layla. I am a theatre writer, writer. No, I'm a theatre reviewer. And I have a 25, 23-year-old disabled brother who I advocate for because he can't speak for himself. A lot of people want to come to the theatre and they just can't cope with the sensory overload that it causes. Like, it's too loud, it's too bright, it's too many people. And I think by not doing them, you're eliminating a large portion of audience members who would love to come to a show but just can't cope with it. So, relaxed performances matter as much as any other form of access in any building or any capacity. I think relaxed performances are really important because it's, it's a great demonstration of the fact how sometimes only the smallest of changes can make the largest of difference to the attendees. Um, so it's just a great demonstration of loads of them all together to make a good experience. So you kind of normally start with the sound and the lighting. So can you reduce any sound case or any strobing that you can get rid of? Um, but then you can also look at things like what smells going on, how much uh, busyness is happening on stage, etc. Uh, if you think about all eight sensors, that's kind of your starting point. Definitely. There's definitely been a lot more talk about accessibility of theatre, especially since COVID, because we had that time to think about how we can make theatre more approachable for everyone. And off the back of that, I think a lot more people are starting to realise that theatre isn't as accessible as we claimed it was, and they're doing a lot better to move things in the right direction. So me, as a consultant, who always, like my job is to make every product and service as accessible as possible. Uh, it excites me because they've, they've been around 10 years now. So what excites me is, okay, we found out Relax Performance has worked for loads of people. Now what else can we do to make uh, regular performances more accessible? How Are there different types of performances that we can lean into? That's what excites me. It's the fact that we have just got started in this. And theatre is a space where, you know, it's the most inclusive space anyway, in the arts, etc. So to see that lean into our accessibility is only a great thing. Yeah, off the back of that, you pretty much said everything that I was already thinking. Like, I think relaxed performances are, I don't want to say the bare minimum for shows to do, but like, it kind of is. Like, every show should be having at least one relaxed performance in the near future and never period. And I think it's great that those are shows are doing that, but it's like you said, like, people shouldn't have to just restrict themselves to coming on relaxed performances and it's seeing how you can support your disabled patrons 365 days a year. I am speaking from experience with my little brother. He is, um, like I said, he's 23, he's got cerebral palsy, he can't really care for himself. And when we go to the theatre, they say, oh, we've got an accessible bathroom. And I'm like, oh, amazing, I'll go and have a look. And it's accessible in the sense that it has a, an emergency cord, but it hasn't got a hoist. And for example, even just one theatre in the West End having a hoist in their bathroom would make it so much more accessible for us to change him. Small changes like that, I know it costs a lot, but it would be so beneficial to so many people who need it. And going off the back of that, just changing that label of we are accessible to these are the needs that we can serve, being upfront about it, being clear about it. And the more transparent we get around that conversation, the more people are going to be able to have the easiest experience. We got sat in our seats and just as the show was due to start, the actors playing Marty McFly and Biff came out and gave a little introduction to themselves to explain a bit about their characters and a bit about what to expect during the show and what to expect during a relaxed performance just in case people weren't aware and to prepare people. Okay, so have just gotten back from London. Uh, quite tired, but you know we've got to we've got to film this little part. So, uh, but wow, honestly, I I don't even know where to start with 
with talking about it. It was an amazing experience, first of all. And I, I wanted to, okay, I want to start off by saying that, you know, I've seen it a few times before and I've always noticed little parts that I'm like, oh, you know, that's that's a bit much. I can find that a bit overwhelming or I know people that will find this a bit overwhelming and I know how easily it is to, to tone those like effects down a little bit. That's why going into this, I was so excited just because I get to I get to go and see what it's like. I was really curious to see if it if they took stuff to a point where it almost removed you from the experience a little bit and you didn't get the same immersiveness. Is that word immersiveness that you would from a regular performance? So that that was something I was a little bit a little bit wary about, I think. Just because I want I want those people that aren't able to experience a regular performance to still get the same you know, the same feelings out of it and get to enjoy it just as much. And yeah, I am I'm thoroughly impressed. I came out of the first act and I was talking to, uh, to Connor Ward and I said to him, I don't actually think too much has changed. And I was a bit like, I, I don't I don't 100% know about this. And he pointed out to me, actually, there was a lot more that, that had changed than I thought, which is such a good thing because I felt like I'd still experienced the, the regular performance without noticing that effects had been taken away, which means that they've done their jobs right. And of course, there are still a few things that need to be changed you know one of those things which i couldn't not notice was you know how late we were let in and how late the show was to start of course that's not ideal especially when you've got people that you know if if you're telling people what time stuff is going to start you've got to be as close to that as possible but you know they of course there's going to be things that they've not quite got spot on this is their first relaxed performance and as they're going forward they're going to change stuff each time to make it better and better but I am incredibly impressed and it's just so good that there's this whole theatre of, of people that maybe haven't been able to experience it before, have now seen seen the spectacle and yeah, it's just incredible that this is, this is where the whole industry is going in general, you know, other theatres and shows do relaxed performances and it's just come so far and within such a small amount of time. I was, I was watching it with Cez Francis, fellow YouTuber, it was her first time watching it. And she absolutely loved every moment of it, which which was so good to see because it was nice to see that everyone was just having the having the experience that I had watching it for the first time, despite it being relaxed. And you know, I don't think it really got in the way at all. It was just such a such a nice atmosphere, and I think that's something that Back to the Future and the Adelphi can congratulate themselves upon. Directly to Back to the Future, the musical and the Adelphi, coming from someone that's seen it a few times before. I didn't even notice a lot of changes, which is a good thing because it means I still got the same full-on experience and it means other people that haven't seen it before got the same experience that I had. I do, of course, want to say one last big thank you to Back to the Future the Musical for in- inviting us down. It's honestly such a pleasure. The people that I've interviewed today as well, thank you so much. And just everyone, you know, all the staff, all the cast for making it, for making it as special as it is. Thank you so much. And um, if you guys enjoyed, please subscribe hit like turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload and uh maybe maybe check out back to the future the musical see you lot in the next one